Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. I've already made a copy of it like I always do. And he's trying to separate just like one piece out. Well, it's a bitmap, so you can't separate it. But if you just don't do anything but just go outline, trace, clip art, and trace it, and it's already done and hit OK, and then your new trace copy is on the outside. Now, if you look at it, you can see double lines when you're moving it. And I don't know if he's using, you know, going to use the whole puzzle. So what you can do is go ahead and go to object group and ungroup it all and maybe take out this color. And then we need to get rid of the double lines. And several ways you could do that because this is a fill and not a line. So I'm going to left click, no fill, right click outline and you see the double lines. I can get my zoom tool to work. So this, you can't just, you know, you like use it for smart fill or anything, but what you can do to make the puzzle complete if you're going to, we can select it all, hold down the shift key and double click on the rectangle and it put a box around it. So now we could actually use it as a puzzle. And you're just going to have to go and virtually segment, so, so uh, delete some of the lines, and it's still not going to be perfect because it actually did more. You know, if you delete this line, the pieces aren't going to fit right. Puzzles are really easy to to make and recreate. See, right there is just not going to work. Now we can make this work but it almost be easier to start over. So let's just, let's delete some of these and just see what we can do. And you got to think about which ones to delete or not to delete. Can't delete that one. So let's delete this one. Now we're going to make this puzzle work, but it'd almost be easier just to start over and do it normally. So what we can do is take these two nodes and just move them together. And that will correct it. And, and this way you're kind of changing the puzzle up anyway. And kind of unique and do whatever you want. But that will solve the problem. Now, when you, it all depends if you're cutting this and I would like maybe delete that node. If you're gonna cut this out, it'll be kind of fine. But that wasn't really his question. He wanted to know, how to uh, just take one piece out. Well, then, since we've done that, you can use the Smart Fill tool. And I would probably, let's see how big this puzzle is. It's eight and a half inches, so let's make our nudge factor nine. And let's just Smart Fill and nudge over to the left. I'm just holding down the left arrow key. And what this is doing isn't really that much. So now we can left click, right click, and you've got the lines again. And each one of them now will be an individual piece or should be, as you can see. So it will work. Now, if you cut this, if you're gonna print this, then you need to turn them all into something like half a point. If you're gonna cut it, I would select it all double click on it, change it to a hairline and change it to red so you know it's a cut line. And that'll pretty much cut out and be a puzzle. Now you're gonna have a kerf, but in a puzzle it doesn't really matter that much. You know, the kerf is the, the thickness of the laser beam and there's a couple of way to compensate for that. But in this puzzle, it doesn't really matter. So you can't do anything until you make it into a vector file is what I guess the downside or the, and if you will search my videos, uh, there's plenty of videos on how to create a puzzle. There's actually puzzle generators. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.